Alright. Here are 9 hacks, tips, tricks and hidden features from Microsoft Word that you probably didn't know exists. First one is the clipboard history. If you click this little slanted arrow here at the lower right corner of the clipboard ribbon, it will open the clipboard history pane. As the name implies, everything that you copy in the clipboard will be listed here. As you can see, the text I copied is automatically listed here. This can even include pictures that you copy in the clipboard. Let me copy this Ribby Trivia logo picture here. There you go. The picture is added in the clipboard history now. This MS Word clipboard history can hold up to 24 items that you previously copied. Only text or images though. For example here, I am copying a file. That file will be in the clipboard, but it will not be added to the Word clipboard history, since files can be too big. So you can copy any text and images, and they will all be added in this history, up to the last 24 items you copied. All of these can then be reused to your document. For example, let's paste this picture that I copied a while ago in this document. There you go. Each item in the history list can also be deleted if you want to free up spaces for more items you want to save in the history. You also have more options here on how you want the clipboard history to be displayed and be available to you while working on a Word document. This feature is very handy especially on situations where you are heavily doing a copy and paste process. It can save you a lot of time re-copying the previous items that you need to paste again in your document. We all know that a portable document format, or PDF, are read-only files. But we can easily edit it, and even create one, using MS Word. To create a PDF out of your Word document, just go to File menu, then Save As, then Browse. From the Save As type, select PDF. To view more options on the PDF file you are saving, click the Options button here. You can choose all pages, the current page only, or a specified page range to convert to PDF. You also have options here on what to publish, as well as what non-printing information you want to include. When you check PDF A compliance, it will embed all your contents within the PDF, disable JavaScript, remove embedded video and audio, and it will also not support password encryption, to make sure that it opens and displays correctly on any device. Optimize for image quality preserves picture quality within the document, which causes the file size to be bigger. This is not advisable when you plan to share your PDF online. Bitmap text when fonts may not be embedded, when checked, attempts to convert your text into the bitmap image format, so that your document appears in the same font that you intended, even when the font is not available to the PDF, due to font licensing and such. Encrypt the document with a password will protect the PDF with a password. When set, upon opening the exported PDF, a password will be required. When you are good with the options, just click the OK button. Then click Save. There we go. We now have converted this Word document into a PDF file. As you can see, it has the same format, same font, same colors, and everything. Here is the actual PDF file we have created. Now, if you want to edit a PDF file, just open it within MS Word. Let's try to open this short book here. We will receive a notification here that Word will convert the PDF to an editable Word file, and that it could take a while, and also that it may not look exactly the same, especially the graphics part. Let's click OK. There we go. We can now readily edit the PDF file and save all our changes to the same PDF file. Since the PDF is on an edit mode, when you try to open it on a PDF reader, you will receive this notification basically saying that the file is locked to another user. You can go ahead and edit this PDF file just like a normal Word document and easily save the changes. Now that we have closed the PDF file from Word, we should now be able to open the PDF file from Adobe Reader. There we go. By using MS Word, that's how you can treat any PDF file as a normal easily editable document. Next is another great MS Word feature for big documents, like this one with 23 pages. It is not that big actually, since other documents can go to as big as thousands of pages. But even with this 23-page document, it is already difficult to go through with them, how much more on hundreds and thousands of pages. But luckily, MS Word provides a way to view large document in a more convenient way. Just go to the View Ribbon tab. The default MS Word view is Print Layout. Change that to Outline View. And you will have a nice tree view list of your document, with parts you can easily read and identify. This is of course dependent on your document's format with headings and such. Heading 1 is the one on top of the tree view here, heading 2 below it, and so on. You can also select the level to show in the document. Level 1 are the formatted heading 1 of course. Level 2 is heading 2, and so on. All the lower levels from the selected level to show will still be shown. This is a great way to view the documents at a glance and review them faster. Since this is in tree view, you can collapse and expand each part by putting the cursor on an item you want to collapse or expand, and then press the plus or minus sign in the toolbar above. 
When you are done with whatever you are doing with the outline view, you can just click the close outline view ribbon to go back to the normal print layout view. Next trick is how to reduce the file size of your MS Word document. As you can see here, the open file is 6337 kilobytes in size. This document is just 5 pages, but it has gone up to a size more than 6 megabytes. We can easily remedy that by doing these things that I'm going to show you. First thing you can do is stop the change tracking. Go to the Review Ribbon tab. If Track Changes ribbon is highlighted, expand it, then click the Track Changes option. Then expand this Accept ribbon and click on Accept All Changes and Stop Tracking. We have now disabled the document change tracking. Let's save the document. This should help reduce the file size of the document. Let's check the file size. OK. We are down to 2 kilobytes. Just a small reduction. If there are a lot of tracking done, it can reduce more. Next thing we can do, if you have an embedded image in your document, you can click on that image, then go to the Picture Format ribbon tab, and inside the Adjust group, click on the Compress Picture ribbon. You will be presented with more options here. You can apply the compression to the selected picture or all the pictures within the document, and you can also clear the details of the cropped part of the images. Below you can select the compression type between web for 150 ppi, email for the smallest 96 ppi, or leave the resolution as is. If you want the maximum compression, choose the smallest, but if you are planning to print a high resolution copy of the document, then choose the default resolution. I'll choose the smallest for this sample, and I will save the document. Let's now do a file size check. And would you look at that. We have reduced more than 1.6 megabytes from the file, which is more than 26% reduction from its original size. We can reduce the file size of this document further. As you might notice at the bottom part of the document, I have used a lot of different fonts here, which can cause the large file size. We can quickly solve that by going to the File menu, then to Options, and under the Save Side tab, look for the Preserve Fidelity when sharing this document section. Under the Embed Fonts in the File checkbox, we can check the option to embed only the characters used in the document. This will help reduce the file size by not embedding the whole font set to the document and only the specific characters used. Let's check the file size again. There you go. We're down to 1722 kilobytes down from 4686 before. That's more than 73% reduction of the file size. Wow. Do note though that I have used about 7 different fonts in the document, so there's a lot of font characters that has been eliminated here, thus reducing the document size a lot. You can take this file size reduction even further by going back to the same option settings and totally uncheck the embed fonts in the file. This is of course not ideal if you are going to share the document to other people who might not have the set of fonts you used in the document. Otherwise, this is perfectly fine. Final file size check here. Wow. We are down to a mini school 108 kilobytes. That is a whopping 99.9% .9 file reduction. Just wow. On to our fifth MS Word hack which is about password protection. Just go to File, then Info. From here extend the Protect Document box. Then click on Encrypt with Password. Then you can enter the password you want to set for the document. You need to enter it twice of course. This document is now password protected. Let's test it by closing this document for now. Then let's reopen it. There you go. You cannot open the document now unless you enter the password that we've set. To remove the password protection from the document, just go the file again, then info, expand the protect document, and then encrypt with password again. From here, you can just delete the password value, then click OK. And save the document. That's it. Let's try to close and reopen the document again to test if it will not ask for a password anymore. There we go. It now opens directly without asking for a password. Aside from password, which applies to the whole MS Word document, you can also apply restrictions to just parts of the document. For example, let's try to restrict any updates in this timeline part of the document which I will highlight. No let's go to file, and then info again. Then expand the protect document, but this time, let's click on the restrict editing item. It will give you these options. First is the formatting restrictions where you can specify which specific styling you can restrict for editing. Leave it unchecked if you want to restrict all formatting. Next is the editing restrictions which lets you choose what type of editing you will allow. Selecting no changes from the drop-down means all type of editing is restricted. Below that, you can also add users who are exempted from editing the restricted part of the document. If you are on a larger network, like on an office, you can select users here to add to the exemptions. Exempted users can of course edit the restricted part freely. To apply the restrictions, click the yes button below. This will then let you set a password, which you can use later on, if you want to remove the edit restrictions. Let's set a password here and click OK. There we go. 
This part is now restricted for editing. As you can see here, when I right click on the restricted part, the paste, copy, cut, and even the font and paragraph formatting are all disabled. Indicating that I cannot edit anything on this part. To remove the restriction, just highlight the same part, then go to File, Info, Protect Document, and Restrict Editing again. Below here, you can click the Stop Protection button. This will ask you for the password, the one that we set earlier, and after entering that, the restricted parts of the document will then be free for editing again. As you can see here when I right-click, all the pop-up menu options are enabled now. Next tip is about adding watermark to your MS Word document. Go to Design Ribbon tab. Then click on the Ribbon tab. This will give you options for pre-formatted watermarks, like this Do Not Copy one for example. Just click on it to apply. Then choose Remove Watermark to remove it. If you want to add your own watermark, choose Custom Watermark. From here you can add a customized text or your own picture as a watermark. Let's try Picture, then click Select Picture button. You can choose File from Bing, OneDrive, or from a local file which we are going to choose. You can then browse and select the picture from your local drives. Then click the OK button. There we go. The picture we've selected is now set as the watermark of the document. Nice. Again, to remove the watermark, just go to the Watermark ribbon, then click on the Remove Watermark menu. And it's gone. In MS Word, when we change the margin, the page orientation, size, these changes are always applied to the whole document. But what if we only need one page to have a different page layout? A different orientation or maybe margin size? Is that possible? Absolutely yes. Just select the text within the page that you want to change the layout of. Then go to the Layout Ribbon tab, then click the small slanted arrow from the right bottom of the page Setup Ribbon group. This will open this dialog box. From the Apply to drop down, select the selected text. Now, all the changes that you will do here will only apply to the part of the text we selected from earlier. Let's try to make the orientation as landscape. Then click OK. There you go. All the part with the text we selected are now in landscape, while other pages remain in portrait. Isn't that cool? Let's try to change its margin now to 0.3 inches on all sides. Here we go. All other pages remain in portrait and 1 inch margin, while this single page is in landscape with smaller margin. You don't need to create a separate document now for that different page layout, since different page layouts can now coexist within the same single MS Word document. Really cool. If you want to return it back to a single page layout for all the pages, just open the Page Setup dialog box again. Then select Whole Document from the Apply to drop down, and set up whatever page layout setting you want, then click the OK button. And we're back to the usual uniform page layout format for the whole document. The last MS Word hack that I'm going to show you is its built-in text-to-speech feature. You can go to the Review Ribbon tab, then select Read Aloud Ribbon here. Alternatively you can also enable it from the Quick Access Toolbar in the Title Bar above. When we enable this, it will open this Read Aloud Player Controls floating at the top right side of the document, and will start reading the document. From the options, you can select the reading speed. You can also select the type of voice here. You have three choices. You can pause and play reading aloud. You can also move to the next or previous words from the document. HTTPS colon slash slash www. The stop, just click the X from the controls. This feature is great for those who have sight or reading problems, or even when you are just too lazy to read the document on your own. Alright. That's 9 out of 9. I hope these MS Word features that I shared will make your documentation related life more fun and easier. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Millisuge for watching. Nova Air.